Greetings, fellow portal masters. Greetings, fellow portal masters. I am Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash the skies with another episode of the Skyland and Giants Jailock here on the channel. But before I continue, we had a casualty in the last episode, so um, we gotta quickly say that we gotta quickly acknowledge that one. My BGRF was defeated. My best ghost robot friend was lost in a fight, and I gotta say it was. It was pretty sad. I t it's been a long time since I recorded the last, but I knew I'd still get emotional with this. But <laughs> our best ghost robot friend was defeated in battle, and hopefully that's our only casualty in this fight. And if you're wondering what I mean by that, well, simply, this is the giant giant's lock. So what that is, is I'm playing through the original game of giants. I'm playing through the original giants game, sorry. With the original eight giants. So, as you can see on screen, you got Hothead and the line with like Tree Rex and Swarm and then Ginny and all of those. So, I'm playing only as them. But the problem is, if any of those giants get defeated in battle, see you later. I can't use any of them in the game again. And at any time on the screen when it says a Skylander of the, let's say, Water Element is stronger than this one, I have to switch out to that said Skylander. Simply put. But along with that, at any time, at any time in the game, I have to do a feet of strength! So I have to drop everything, run over to that feet of strength, have to do that, along with pick up all the boulders, and if there's any kind of option where I have to jump down into a hole, I have to do all of those, no questions asked. Simply put. So I guess excited for this, I'm excited to continue on. Last episode, as I said, we lost our best ghost robot friend. It's still hard to talk about. But chaos... Has got into the, has got the Archean Gauntlet, and we gotta stop him somehow. Okay, we gotta try to stop him. He's tough as nails right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on here before we continue the question of the day. Simply put, any giant in this game, if you could change something about that giant, who would it be and why? I would change Ninjini and make her better. <laughs> no, I change Ninjini and make her blades faster because she does that weird switch thing and then she like floats for a second and then she attacks again. I would make them like a non-stop slash. I think that would be a million times better. But we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right back into the fight here. <laughs> oh, you can't slide upstairs? Come on, man. Where to next? I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Although if it's that terrible pirate carnival place, try not to mention my name. Yeah, I know it's tough, but just do your best, okay? I'll try my best. Oh, I can't go to him yet? Do I gotta talk to you? Sure, you beat Chaos, but it's a much bigger... Oops, I went to the wrong game! I just realized that. I just realized I'm in the wrong, uh... In the wrong save! <laughs> now that's how you start off a video. I'm in the wrong save. So you see some more behind, you see some behind the scenes here now. Here we go. I went in the same game one. <laughs> Oopsie! That's how you start off a game right now. Man, I'm terrible at this. See? My ghost, my best ghost robot friend got defeated, and I've just... My mind hasn't been clear ever since. It's sad. It's so sad to think about my best ghost robot friend. I miss him so much, guys. You don't understand. My best friend died! Don't hail to the whale! My first best friend is dead! But now we're going to continue on. Sorry about that. Here we go. You still can't slide up the stairs? Here we go. Okay. So we've just about made it to Chaos's old neighborhood. Oh, the Wilkin Village! That's where we are now? Jeez, we're flying through this game. I'll just... Oh! What the... There's a gold wing sapphire back there. Oh, was his aerial attack first? We're going to do that one first? Okay. It's those are Kia security copters! They must have followed us from the vault! I think we're out of range now, but we took a major hit! Oh, I don't know what happened to her sound then, she kind of vanished. <laughs> we're a sitting duck out here. Let's take the lander to the nearest island and see if we can find someone to fix our ship. Oh, it is Wilkin Village! Yay! Perfect. I was gonna say, I'm like, I thought Wilkin Village was next. I'm like, why did we get a shot? I'm like, I, can, I guess the next one will be the uh, aerial attack, or aerial assault, or whatever it's called. Wilkin Village is creepy. Is it just me, or is there something a little off about those people? Yeah. They're not people. I don't think they're people. 
I think they're wooden dolls of some kind. Creepy. Well, whatever they are, they creep. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like there'll be much help in repairing the ship. How <laughs> little do you know? Maybe. But somebody must have built them. See if you can find whoever did. They just might be able to help us fix the ship. Again. Our ship keeps breaking. Oh, magic to kick it off. Speak of the devil. A ninjini. All right, so I got to give a big thank you because this is a couple episodes after I recorded the last set of episodes. So I guess I got to thank all of you guys for actually going and subscribing to Jap. I said in episode four to go check out Jap, and you did, and I really appreciate that. Oh my god, they're all alive, and this is terrifying. It was the most terrifying thing that ever happened to me. I'm not talking to any of these Willikins. They terrify me. Ah! <laughs> Me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, not me. Me and the squad. That's me, Brylander, Portalmaster9351 hanging out. <laughs> Those monsters are bad. Well, I know that. Please help us, friend. Um, no, you can just go away. That's fine with me. Hiya! Spikes cause ouchies, you see that? So a lot of you guys were saying that Ninjini is going to be defeated first just because I don't like her. Well, PSA, guys. Oh, this is your PSA. You help us. You are truly friend to the Willikin. Thanks. We can help you now. I hear talk about broken shit. Mm -hmm. I hear lots of things. In next village over, they make parts. Parts to fix your ship. Okay. But you must go along cliffs to get there. <laughs> More monsters there. Thanks, dude. But, uh, okay, so a little PSA, guys. I don't want any Skylander to be defeated in this battle. Or in this in these fights. Like, I know that I talk about how, um... How I talk about, I was like, oh, I hate your Ginny and all that. Um, I'm not a fan of a lot of Skylanders, but I don't want them to lose. I want to be able to play these games... Oh, I shouldn't have went there. Bye, Stephanie. Didn't mean to go in here. Um, like, I don't want any Skylander to be defeated. I want to be able to complete the game with every Skylander possible, so... Oh, we gotta do Sky Stone's game. Hello, friend. Will you play with me? Like, that's not even the line. I give you my key if you win. Sure, thanks. I'm gonna destroy you! Sorry, got a little too, too into that. In fuego, what, he starts up with a Fuego Chompy? Get out of here, boy! Yeah. I'm keen juicer. Jouster. But as I said, I want every Skylander to make it to the end in this game. I don't want to lose any of them. Like, as I said, with any like with any kind of match in this, like even with Crash Smash, like people think I'm biased when it comes to my members. Like Bash is in it, Bash is still in it, but I don't try I try to defeat every single Skylander in it. Like I don't want any of them to lose. That's literally my thing. I don't want Anybody to lose, but someone has to lose, and I just want to see who the toughest is. And as I said with this, I literally just fight so. I literally want every Skyline to make it, because I mean, there's gonna, there might be a lock at one point in the future where I make it to the end, where I literally have every single Skylander I started with in the end. Who knows? Thanks for the life spell, punk kid. I sure did, kiddo. <laughs> nothing funny about that. Stop laughing. Here's some orbs. Have fun. I destroyed your table. See your table. So rude. Like, think about it. We go into this person's house, and I know it's common nature for you to, like, go in and just destroy everything. How many keys is this? Is it just two? Okay, it's just two. Okay, so we'll turn them off again. Wrong button. There we go. Um, so... Yep, go to bed. So... You go into the into their house and you just destroy everything. So think about it, their their place is alive right now, right? And then Ginny with her slow blades are just gonna go up. It's like, oh look at this nice little brick wall you made, <laughs> and you just destroy it. So rude. Then Ginny, you're so rude. <laughs> right, we're gonna continue on here now. Who's that over there? Who's that? Uh, who's that thing? Oh, it's Pop Fizz. What's up, Pop Fizz? Very big fan favorite on this channel, I know, I know. Hey, I got a Skystone of you! Oh, never mind then. See you later. Oh, here we go. Big guys, big guys. We got the tree, guys. 
Spin around you, just do your blades in circles. Oh, there is a... Oh, I just noticed it. Crud! Get out of here! Oh, I took him out! Look at that, that's how you do it. All I gotta do with Ninjini to make her powerful is to use other weapons. Genius, I didn't think about that. I thought I just had to lose. Here we go. I don't like the Willikin world, but oh well. This is actually one of my least favorite levels in this game, I gotta say. Sky Life Skylander! Let's go, Tree Rex and Tree Pex! Let's do this! Tree Rex is definitely the fan favorite in this right now. I mean, there's a lot of people who are saying certain Skylanders and stuff, but I know for a fact that all of you guys are loving uh, Tree Rex right now. I think it might be because of the fact I got you guys to name his uh, his partner in crime there, the uh, rooster, or the woodpecker, Tree Pex. So I think you guys like really like that. Oh, it's a story scroll! Let's get some more stories! Oh, yeah! Is this Flynn's Adventures, or is this a regular story scroll? Yeah, it's a regular story scroll, okay. It's in Swap Force's Flynn's Adventures. A common question people have about Sky Pirates is what they do with all the loot and prisoners they pillage on their in-flight raids. The answer is quite simple. They store it in the hull of their ship. Where else would they put it? It's not funny. True Rex, you just talked about kidnapping someone and you just laughed about it. <laughs> you got some psychotic thoughts, dude. <laughs> Tree Rex just, it just sounds like, do you know how they like go and destroy everywhere and they take people for prisoners? You know where to put them? They just put them in the ship. And he's like, ha ha ha! It's like, that's not funny. <laughs> People are gonna die, Tree, tree Rex. What is your problem? Oh, we got, a, we got a rock right here. Here we go, here we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Hiya! Jeez, there's a giant hole in there now. Oh, right, I forgot you can hop. You gotta hop, hop through that to get down below. Did you see that? He just hopped out of the ground. Take him to the woodshed. <laughs> Any guys know what a woodshed is? Now, back where I'm from, my, my little town where I'm from, uh, woodsheds are very common because the places, most of the places are, use wood heat. That's what their woodshed is about. So people go and they, uh, they fill up their, oh, I, I just remembered how much I hate this puzzle. Oh, I should hit, I should grab that first. Oh, that didn't give me anything. Oh, God. Okay. I don't like this puzzle at all. I don't like these puzzles in this game. I do not like them, Sam I am. No! Oh my god. I might lose Tree Rex just by these stupid puzzles in this game. Oh my lord. I don't like these puzzles at all. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Oh, thank god. We're getting this treasure chest. I know that it doesn't give me food. I kind of need food to get Tree, Tree Rex back to his full health here. We got a battle coming up now soon, too, so... Oh, there's some... There's a pretzel over there. I like pretzels. Pretzels are good. Me and Bex brought frozen pretzels a little while ago. Like, they're pre-made frozen pretzels. Oh, my gosh. Um, you just get... You just put them in the microwave for, like, a minute. You put a little bit of water on them, and then you can sprinkle salt on them, too, which is really cool. But uh, it's they're pretty good. Like they're they're pretty decent for you know frozen store made. Uh, oh, oh, elbow drop from the top rope. But yeah, it was a uh, oh jeez. Oh, oh, oh crud. Here we go. You know what? You know what, boy? Ugh. Is there any more around here? Cause yeah, there is one over there. Because I noticed in the last couple episodes, I missed a ton, and I personally apologize for all of that. Oh my gosh, Tree Rex. Tree Rex is so low right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, is there... There's no health around here. Oh no, we got a little... Guys, we might lose Tree Rex. To these stupid puzzles. Our first actual casualty in the game might be Tree Rex and Tree Pex. Uh, come on, raise, raise, raise! Come on, raise, 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 raise! Uh, oh, that was 
close. That was too close for comfort. Please go. Oh, no, there's another puzzle. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Uh, I'm nervous. Because it, it's going to be like pretty much one hit and Tree Rex is gone with these puzzles. Can they all raise now? Can you all raise? Okay, we got those two. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God almighty. Wait, is this the one? Wait a minute. I think these in here, they heal. Oh, they do. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're going to hang out here for a couple for a minute. Ooh. Wow. Wow. We were very close to losing Tree Rex there, guys. Unbelievable. We almost lost Tree Rex. We're going to just do a little bit of a speed up here to get him. We're getting him fully healed. I'm not risking it. I'm sorry I'm going to be wasting a little bit of time here, but yeah, I forgot that this place does this. Oh, I was so nervous. Those puzzles are so easy to mess up because when it comes to timing, it's almost impossible. And I don't know why they hurt you. Like, they shouldn't hurt you. They just knock you back and be like, oh, like that. But they hurt you, and they hurt you a lot. But, like, Tree Rex was this close, like, literally this close to getting defeated in that battle. And I didn't even notice because... And the worst part is, is I had to go out of the way to get those... Those, um... Those rocks that were there, right? This is the worst part. All right, let's continue on here now. So he's pretty much fully healed here now. We'll grab, we'll grab one more. There we go. All right, Tree Rex is back, folks. Back from the brink of death, undead, and we. Oh, I'm glad we healed him up because we might have to use him again in this level. That was way. Yeah, you shut your eye on me, dude. After that, um, that was way too close for comfort. That's all I can say. Oh wait, I see a giant up here. Hold on. Here we go! One, two, three! Feel the strength! Excellent. Excellent. Life, see? Let's bring him back. I know we're probably gonna have to bring him out soon. We just need True X to go up and get Pop Fizz's uh, Soul Gem. So I'll run and grab that Soul Gem, I guess. Look at the uh, enemies there. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hehe. <laughs> Hey, bring it on, boys! Y'all mean nothing to me. <laughs> so simple. There he is. Pop Fizz is Soul Jam. Awesome, awesome. Get the shake it up thing. No, we don't have. We're not using Pop Fizz in this playthrough, so we're not going to be watching this video there. Don't need to really. And we switch back to Eyebrow. What an intense minute that was. That was a hot minute right there. Let me know. Were you guys were you guys on the edge of the seat being like, oh my god, he's gonna lose Tree Rex? I love this. Just take them all out by doing nothing. I love this. There's a giant tree in the way and he eats an Fuego Chompy and then you just run him over with a bomb <laughs> and it kills him instantly. I smash him with a rock and it's two hundred health. I run him over with a bomb. And he gets defeated like right away. Like what is that? There we go. Williken World! So there are three. There are three there. So we're gonna go in. I think one of these buildings have a key, and then there's one on the far left, and there's one on that bounce pad over there, too. Nope, that's a hat. Don't need to go in there. Sorry, Evie. I had a fish named Evie, actually. Actually, on the day I'm recording this, we just recently got a new fish. Oh, thanks, Kate. Um, there's an achievement, actually. On this game, you gotta talk to every Willikin. It's harder than you think. <laughs> but we just got a, I just got a new fish today. I'm actually hiding it from Bex. Um, because for some reason, when it comes to her and some of the pets, she doesn't even realize they're there. Like, she's very oblivious to some stuff. We sold this cage, right? And we had this big cage, like, you know, the one the size of Riku's cage, pretty much. A little bit smaller than that. And I had it there. And I happened to sell it that, that afternoon. So Bex shows up. Bex comes home that night, and she's in the kitchen. She's walking where the cage was. And I'm not saying anything, I'm just having a smile on my face, I'm like, do, I'm like, do you see it? And she was like, see what? And I'm like, it. And she was like, what? I'm like, look on the floor. She looks on the floor, she's like, what? And she had no clue that this giant cage that's been in our, in our kitchen for, like, a week. No, like, no, since December, since Christmas time, actually. Because, yeah, my parents brought it in for, for, from Christmas. We sold it in. 
It was like a couple, couple, it was like barely a week ago we sold it. And she didn't notice it. So today, I told her about a fish a couple days ago I saw. It's this beautiful looking fish, right? It's a little beta fish. And uh, I told her about it. And today, I happened to be out where that beta fish was. So I decided to go and check it out, right? What? In Fuego Choppy? Bad. So I happened to go there today, and that fish has still happened to be there. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get it. So I bought her. And, because uh, Bex has gone to work today, so I'm like, okay, perfect time for me to bring it home. She won't even see it. <laughs> come on, come on. Hold on. We got a quick distraction here now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I got him. Eye on the prize. So... I happened to pick her up, and Bex said she was home, and I'm like, oh no. I'm like, I'm trying to hide this fish from her to see if, how long it's going to take for her to even notice that it's here and all that. So, I happened to be on my way home, and I told her, I'm like, are you still home? She's like, no, I'm about to leave. And I'm like, okay, perfect. And while I was walking home, oh, we got a boss battle. I forgot we got a random boss battle here. We'll let Serpentina talk. Or Serafina, or whatever. Chompy Mage! Chompy Mage! But he comes anyway. He summons all the Chompies, and when we try to stop him, he shifts into other worlds. But so can you shift. Maybe you can stop him? Probably. Maybe I can help you too. Go to his field and I will follow. Sounds great. Um, but yeah, so I managed to get home and she was. Ah! terrifying so i happen to just you know i'm br bringing this home hoping she would hoping she wouldn't be home and she she left she actually was gone and while i was walking home she showed up and i'm just like oh <laughs> well she she drove by me and she didn't realize i even had anything in my hand she knows my haircut that was it so i don't remember how to beat this choppy i really don't remember I don't know if, can I, can I attack him with this? Oh, I can, okay, I can attack him. Oh, but I lose a lot of health when he hits me, okay. I'm gonna have to, I'll use the eyeball, here we go, I'll use the eyeball. Eyebrow's eyeball. Okay, took him down once. Chompy Mage! So I don't like you! All right, we might be we might be messed up here, guys. Oh wait, hey! Here we go, here we go. Come on, use this to heal yourself up, boy. Here we go. There we go. Look at this. What a oh, this is a good battle here now, cause I can just heal myself. <laughs> I can't hit him. Look at that, I got my health back. Back pretty up for I was like 86. I am through toying with you. Me too. Oh, why? Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Hi. I can help. Use this to switch into the other world. Bad magic will become good magic. <gasps> yes, please. Thank you for this remote. Yeah. Oh, look at the health. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> how do you find? I think we're gonna be okay. How about that? Let me use that and use some health. Then we use that and you get some health. Then we get that and grab some health. <laughs> so easy! So easy! Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. So simple. Sorry if you guys who have like uh, vertigo type thing. I have vertigo too. So look, I'm full health again. <laughs> Sorry for that. It was kind of like might have hurt your eyes. So vert away a bit. Yeah. Copper power. I don't care. I'll, I'll destroy you. I'll mess you up, boy. You got inflago champ. So this time, so for these, I'm just gonna try to stay away, really. Until, because he runs at me and he takes a big chunk of health too, man, so. 
Get away from me! Here we go, now we use the eyeball. Here we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, wait! Oh, okay. Oh! Good life tick there, guys. Did you hear that? If he eats the if he eats the red ones when he's in whatever world he's in, then he uh, he eats them and it'll go explode on him. Or right, eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him, idiot! <laughs> eat him! Ha 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 ha! Ooh! Ouch! Oh, that looked painful. Too bad. I don't care. <laughs> Use some heal in here now. Shit! Oh, we use this one now instead. Beautiful. Like, look at this! This is like a strat right here. I'm just hanging out on the edge, grabbing all of these. Like, eh, yeah! Such a simple strat to use in this game. I thought we were gonna lose all of our Skylanders, but here we are right now. Surviving pretty well. We're gonna have to switch. Oh, you know, you switch to greens for now. Until he, uh, there we go. Now we switch to reds. Don't blow him away. Suck him in. Suck him in, suck him in. Oh, oh, look at all those red ones. Oh, he's done for. That is a, oh, oh, ah, ooh. That's a lot of hell taking him down there. Oh, cool. I'll take that. I'll take those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Switch out. There we go. Thank you. Come over and grab these guys now, I guess. Come on. Give me, give me some help, boy. Switch out again, perfect. Easy, 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 switch! Perfect timing. We're doing really well with this, guys. You gotta be impressed right now. Like, I claim to not be the best Skylander player, but right now, these strats are doing, are doing extremely well. We have hung on to this entire fight with Eyebrawl. I came into this fight with barely any health. And look at this, Eyebrawl is laying- Oh, that's it, boys! Bye bye, Choppy Mage! See you later, see you in Imaginators! Actually, no, see you in Swap Horse and Trap Team and Superchargers and Imaginators! Wow! Okay. I'll take it. Thanks. And now it's time to take on Chaos. Oh, we know Chaos. He is the maker. He lives very close to here, but you not get there right away. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Because home has big force field around it, but force field comes from Troll Castle. Okay. Yes, that's right. Troll Home Security Castle. Oh. Keeping home safe for over 35 years. Well, uh, <laughs> not bad. 35 years is pretty good. Hey, we did it! That was good. This, I gotta say, this is probably the best episode we've recorded of the Giant Lock so far. It had everything. It had two Skylanders I'm being defeated and coming back from the brink just by my strats and luck, pretty much. But this is good. This was a good episode. So it looks like we are heading towards the Troll Castle now, I think is what it is. Oh, okay. What's up, girl? Why are you on my ship? Get out of here. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. What an awesome episode. So every Thursday, we upload a brand new episode of the Skylander Giant Giant Lock. So come back next week to check it out. But if you guys enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. But as always, I bid you farewell.